Hey guys and welcome to another episode of our Dual Tone Foiling Tech Talks. I'm Klaas and I'm standing here with our foil designer Jerome Bonnieu. And what we have in front of us here is the big beast, <laughs> the Aero Lift. Um, 2,400 square centimeters, that's our entry dedicated wing, um, paired with this little stabilizer that we just so I thought I could just flip it around and my son could use it as a front wing. So it's pretty powerful, pretty big. Um, can you give us a bit of a design idea of this foil? Why does it look the way it looks? I mean, it's, it's pretty big. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, this is our sort of easiest uh, wing to learn on. So surface area is your friend if you want to learn. So that's why we went all the way to 2400. Um, Regarding the, the outline, we wanted to keep something with relatively a big proportion of the surface area sort of concentrated in the middle. So it might not look like it, but the tips are relatively small compared to the center. Uh, to have something really grunty that just gets going as soon as you take a little bit of speed, it just pops up onto the foil. Basically, you don't need to pump, it just rises. No, you don't need to pump it. Uh, it has quite a bit of angle of attack already like built in as well. Mm -hmm. So that as soon as you start moving, it just wants to, to rise to make it sort of effortless for, for beginners to, to get up. We didn't want to go too crazy in the, in the span. I mean, we are at 1.1 uh, meter. Uh, we could have gone into a higher aspect ratio, but what we found out is actually Beginners still need something that can roll around relatively easily because if it's too locked, they start going in a direction and they can't bring the foil back to where they're going. So you'll find that this wing, although it's a very big wing and everything, relative to its size, it still sort of moves around pretty easily and it's, and it's kind of uh, easy to, to bring back to you know, the course that you have, you have set. Um, and of course, we've spent a lot of time tuning it with, with this 300 stab so that the pitch was super stable. And um, yeah, every now and then myself, I, I get back on this setup and it always amazes me. Like you can just sit on the board, do whatever, like have a coffee and it just like goes straight, you know, <laughs> which is what your, the beginners want. So yeah, we've, we've had great feedbacks from the, the schools that are using this wing as well. You have a school yourself. I have a school myself, and, uh, but I've talked to other people as well. And yeah, this wing is very, very popular for mm. to learn on. I can yeah confirm that every every now and then I jump on this when we have a photo shoot or, and I'm always surprised how fun it still is. It's not yeah. like it's not a boring wing to ride. Mm. It's getting to a certain speed. Obviously, it has a speed limit. Sure. But it just comes up super easy, super stable, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a no brainer. This would be the pick if you want to get your heavy best friend who never yeah. got any water sports experience. It's his best chance to become a foiler yeah. uh, with this wing, yeah. All right, then um, if you want to know which would be the alternative to this wing, what do you think? What would you say? Yeah, then you probably want to jump to our Aero Free range, uh, which uh, also comes in pretty big sizes. I think the biggest one is a 2,000 square centimeter. So that could be uh, an option as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. and how would you pair it normally for a beginner? So you'd uh, want to pick the longer fuselage, the 76 or the 74, depending on if you're on the 3BS or pocket fuselage. And uh, the recommended stabilizer is the C300, which I have here. And uh, yeah, of 75 course, mast. 75 centimeter mast probably, or 60 if you're in a very shallow uh, environment. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can also shim the back wing, but to be honest, we've spent quite a bit of time sort of setting everything up that you don't have to. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the option is still there. But you would say a person who has some water sports experience or even some foiling experience can start right away with the Aero Free. Yes. And a person who is not so skilled in water sports yet, not or so a bit skilled, heavier. Or maybe a super light wind spot as well. You might need that extra surface area to get you out of the water. Or if you're, you know, 85, 90 plus kilograms, then you want to put all the chances on your side and, and go for the big uh, lift. All right. Thanks for that. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And uh, if you think it was, um, check out our other clips. For example, the Aero Free um, clip we're going to talk about next. And uh, give us a like, give us a subscribe if you like this. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode.